Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so let's look into your love life, all right, Libra? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. All right, so you have the Eight of Swords, Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. What's going on in Libra's love life? What is going on in Libra's love life? Page of Swords. What is going on in Libra's love life? This is for Libra. What is going on in Libra's love life? <clears throat> Four of Swords, right? Hmm, lots of swords here. Eight of swords, page of swords, and then four of swords. Clarify the eight of swords. This flipped over, seven of swords. I feel like someone here is really in their head. Clarify the eight of swords. Clarify the eight of swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is typically someone who feels stuck, okay? They feel mentally stuck. Stuck on someone, stuck on some things that, some things that transpired. Clarify the Eight of Swords, okay. So you have the Seven of Swords that clarify, clarifies it with the High Priestess, Six of Swords in the world, okay? Give me a second. Let me look into this. Um, this person's a mess. What's yeah? This person's a mess. On the back, you have the uh, Five of Cups. It's like Libra. It's like they are regretful, definitely, because the Five of Cups is someone who is crying over spilled milk. By the way, before we get started, um, please remember this is general, so always, always only take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, these cards are not gender specific. They're energies that anybody can embody. Um, and you're welcome to reverse the energies, all right? So if I say you did something and you feel like it was them who did it, by all means, flip it, reverse it if it is resonating. Don't force it to resonate if it does not. Um, you're welcome to view my other readings on the other placements in your birth chart, okay? You can view like your moon, your rising, your Venus if this one's not resonating, okay? So the Eight of Swords, this is either you or your person. Um, I feel like for most of you, this is your person, okay? Someone here is very regretful. Someone here is crying over spilled milk. Um, when the Five of Cups comes out, this is, I feel like this is an individual who's really beating themselves up um, over what happened. So much to the point where they're here as the Eight of Swords being mentally stuck on you. If you look at the Eight of Swords, it's a very symbolic card. I mean, you see someone here who is blindfolded, they're tied up. They're surrounded by eight swords, but they're also standing in mud. So there is a disaster that happened between you and this person, a really sticky situation, a really chaotic situation, a very painful situation. Because for me, as a reader, I see swords as pain, as a representation of pain, um, pain that stems from a betrayal, heartbreak, Um. So this was a very painful, messy situation that this individual is just stuck on. They can't get it out of their head. Um, they're having a hard time moving on from it. You do have the Seven of Swords here. And literally right when I looked at the Seven of Swords, I heard pride and ego. Right when I looked at it, pride and ego. Um, so the Seven of Swords is someone who was sneaky, someone who did something sneaky and they try to hide it or get away with it in your particular spread though this individual is like um trying to almost 
it's like their ego, their pride and ego is trying to prevent them from accepting that they messed up. So this is someone who could be uh, wearing a facade where to the world they act like they don't care or they act like they're just living their life and nothing ever happened. But trust and believe at night when no one's around, this person is absolutely crying. This person is just having so many flashbacks um, at what they did to you. This person's simply having sleepless nights. Um, their heart and their mind is beating them, them up. Like their heart and their mind is telling them, you know you did wrong. You very much messed up big time. You caused a disaster in another person's life. And then their pride and ego comes in and tries to convince them that they didn't do anything wrong or the situation isn't as bad or it isn't their fault. Um, that's why they're here as a seven of swords. They're being, in a sense, deceitful to themselves. They're being intentionally oblivious you know, at what they did. You have them here as the high priestess. This is someone who's waking up. The high priestess is um, an individual who is very insightful, very intuitive. This is a very spiritual person. And so I do feel like this person's waking up. I do feel like they're being forced to be enlightened. This is someone who rejected their connection with you. They rejected their journey. This is some sort of, I strongly feel like this is a soulmate journey. Of course, there are many kinds of soulmates, but the purpose of a soulmate connection is to teach us lessons, lessons that will help better who we are. And this person really is in need of a transformation that they've been rejecting. So it looks like this person is having or is being forced to see that they do have a problem you know, that they can't continue to live this way. No matter how much they're trying to suppress their feelings for you, they're trying to ignore it. You can't ignore your spirit. You can't. And so you have the Six of Swords that is here. The Six of Swords is them hoping that the both of you will be able to still move forward and overcome this. The Six of Swords is wanting to move things to calmer waters with you. But notice the swords again, a representation of pain. You see the two people here trying to continue their journey on this boat, but inside of the boat, you have six swords, okay? Um, so it's saying, the Six of Swords is saying, is it possible for the both of you to move forward after this painful situation? Yes, it's possible. But drastic changes will have to take place. This individual who caused this pain has to make drastic changes within themselves in order to heal the connection and to restore trust, the, the trust that you lost in them. If they are unable to drastically change, then a reunion, the reunion will not be long lasting. You even have the world here. This is someone who wants a do-over with you. So the world talks about completion, okay? Um, I do strongly feel like this person is going into their transformation a little too late. You know, this is long overdue, but at least gradually they are changing. And the world is saying this is someone who is trying to leave behind some things in their past, and they're trying to start a new beginning, Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. So pages represent a form of um, communication. This is some sort of message. I do feel like this person is currently watching you big time. Page of Swords is someone who's having a hard time moving on from you. I mean, you can even see it in the body language of this individual. Look at their feet. One feet is being pointed forward. The other feet is like at halt. 
they're standing on a higher platform, as you see, because they're trying to get a better view of their past, of someone who they left in their past. Um, this person is hurting as well. I feel like they're hurting. I feel like they're defensive as well. Um, do I feel like, I do feel like this person was reckless, but I do not feel like they intended for things to turn out so badly, but it's like, you played dirty, you played recklessly, and then it blew up in your face, you know? Um, that's pretty much what happened with this individual, and they're having a hard time accepting that they messed up. They may not have planned for things to happen this badly, for things to have happened this badly, but they still did it. You know, sometimes it's not about what you meant. It's the fact that you did it. Clarify the page of swords. King of wands. Let's pull out one more. Clarify the page of swords. Queen of pentacles. So like I said, Page of Swords, they're watching you, okay? They've been watching you a lot recently. Like, I feel like this is like become a routine for them to watch you because it's the guilt mixed with the with them missing you. So you have the Nine of Pentacles. This person is admiring you from a distance. When someone sees you as the Nine of Pentacles, um, they're seeing your qualities. They're seeing your worth. They, they are admiring your traits and um the knight of pentacles is you very much being independent the knight of pentacles is someone who is enjoying their singlehood so you're coming off as someone who's independent you may be focusing um, on work on finance you just look like a rich person to this individual and not rich materialistically you could be you could be rich materialistically because we do have pentacles here but generally rich as in someone who is just abundant, um, someone who is just happy and flourishing and just excelling in life. You look like you are excelling and you are, you're glowing. People see this, people notice this. Sometimes you may not feel that way, um, but please give yourself credit and recognize how abundant you are. Recognize how blessed you are. Recognize how amazing and incredible you are because that's how people see you. That is who you are and you need to know it. You need to know your worth. The maximum um, pentacles is 10, all right? Maximum pentacles in tarot is 10. You have all nine here all by yourself. That's incredible. That's why I said when, when people see you as the Nine of Pentacles, they see you as someone who is doing amazing, doing amazing in life. And so there is, they are here admiring you and seeing your worth and your value, but you don't really look like you need someone. You know, you look like you're actually enjoying your singlehood. You're being independent. So you do have the Wheel of Fortune. This is a karmic wheel. Okay, when the Wheel of Fortune appears in your spread, in your reading, it's actually here to serve you well. Um, because it's like karma. It's like what goes around comes back around. So if you know that you did all the right things and you were the one who was done wrong, well, be happy. Be happy that the Wheel of Fortune is here because it is here to uh, bring karma to those who uh, mistreated you, you know, to those who wronged you. Um, this individual is getting their karma because they're looking at the contrast between their life and yours. Right now, I do feel like this person is um, continually receiving karma. A series of unfortunate events keeps on happening to them. And that's what's forcing them to see that they were wrong, that they cannot move forward after doing what they did to you, you'll be surprised. There are people who they know that they do wrong and their pride and ego will not 
make them feel that they need to apologize or they, they will feel that they should apologize, but their pride and ego will not, will not let them to. This person had a long time to make things right with you, but they, they, they didn't. And now karma's beating them up, you know? So it's like literally what goes around comes back around. That's why now they're over here crying over spilled milk, okay? Where was that for? Of um, Oh yeah, it was on the back, the five of cups. It was on the back of the deck when we were here. They're over here being regretful, crying over spilled milk, feeling bad for themselves. But notice how it took them experiencing karma in order for them to acknowledge their wrongs. Like that's, that really highlights their character. And you should question if this is the kind of person you want to deal with, someone who cannot take accountability. But like I was saying, this is an individual who is experiencing a series of unfortunate events. They're, they have karma due to what it is that they did. So they're here and they're noticing the contrast between their life and yours, how they're suffering and you are doing amazing and you're flourishing. Um, that's why they're here obsessively watching you. They're even here as the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups for me, this is someone who is doing the walk of shame. They know that they've done wrong and they know that they must go back to you in order to make things right or at least apologize. But notice how it's a knight. This knight is all armored up, right? This is someone who is so prideful. I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive, but every time I look at this person and I look into their life, they're so prideful. They only think about themselves. This is why they're armored up. This is someone who feels they constantly have to protect themselves from everyone and they they only think about themselves. You know, maybe something happened to this individual where people hurt them. So they just became very reckless towards others. But the one person who really genuinely cared for them, which is you, look at what they end up doing to you. You know, um, but this is someone who is always, always, um, what's the word, like prioritizing themselves, but in a selfish way. It's just like me, 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 me. I have to guard myself. I have to protect myself. Um, even though they're the one who is hurting people. OK, maybe something did happen. Something did happen to this person. People are not just naturally like this, but they're knowing that they have to come back and make things right. But it's embarrassing for them. You know, they don't want to have to do it. OK, um, you have the king of wands. The king of wands is someone who is very uneasy. OK, this is someone who realizes or they're seeing that things are not going their way. They didn't expect for things to take a turn like this. And so they're becoming very uneasy. They're feeling very uneasy because things aren't going their way. So now they're so scared at what else the future holds for them. If they are experiencing this much karma now, imagine what else is headed towards them. That's why they're nervous and they're feeling very like scared. This is someone who's scared. Um, and they know that they're getting karma. They recognize that. Um, the King of Wands is someone who can be very defensive. Like he, you know, or they, they tend to stand their ground. Um, I just feel like it's that pride and ego that's kicking in. Them trying to ignore that they really did wrong. And the reason why that they're experiencing this karma is because of th what they did to you. They don't want to accept it. Um, you have the queen of pentacles, which is you. This is, you first came out. I really need you guys to acknowledge how incredible you are. You came out as the nine of pentacles first. Now you're the queen of pentacles. You're the queen of abundance. Okay, you're highly abundant. You have to you have to know this because when you know your worth, you won't put yourself through certain things. You won't share yourself with with those who don't deserve you. When you know your worth, because when you don't know your worth, that's when people take advantage of you. Okay? When you know your worth, you create standards and expectations and those who can't meet it, you keep them away from you. Um 
and you are the queen of abundance. It's like everything about you, it's just gold. You have it all. Um, this is a very valuable um, individual. And the offer that you have is very valuable. And not everyone is going to deserve this offer. You know? Um, but they're watching you obsessively. Look, right when I said it on the back of the deck, the devil came out, which is a very toxic person. The devil represents toxicity. This is someone who is obsessively watching you. You are on their radar. Like they just cannot stop looking at you. Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is someone who is mentally exhausted. Five of Swords, clarify the Four of Swords. On the back, Six of Cups, which represents a reunion. So with the Four of Swords here, like I said, this is an individual who was, who has been in their head so much that they're literally exhausted, like they're tired because they've been excessively thinking about you and what happened. Excuse me. In Clarity of the Four of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is literally them having sleepless nights. And I think I remember saying something about that when we talked about the Eight of Swords, how it's like they're wearing a facade. In front of people, they're trying to act like everything's good. You know, you know, like they don't care. They're living their best life. But at night when no one's around, they're in their head. They're crying. They're feeling really bad. They're having sleepless nights. And that's literally what the Nine of Swords represents. They are in their head heavily because of what they did to you. Five of Swords is here. Okay. The Five of Swords is really them recognizing that you did the right thing by cutting them out. They don't want to accept it. They are upset. They're upset that most of you cut them out and walked away. But their conscious is telling them that you don't deserve them. That's why they walked away. Or that they don't deserve you. I'm sorry. Their conscious is telling them that they don't deserve you. And that you did the right thing by walking away. The Five of Swords is someone who is prioritizing themselves. Yes, sometimes it is someone who's being selfish, but this is a good kind of selfish. Because you removed yourself from a conflict that they caused. And that they left you in to pick up the pieces. Even though they did the damage. This is someone who just doesn't know how to take accountability. For the majority of you, they caused a disaster and they left you in it. And you were just, they abandoned you. And a lot of you guys were deeply hurt and confused and left without closure. You were confused because most of you found out too late what they were doing. The damage had already been done. But the thing is, you did something unexpected. Instead of you staying in the mess that they left you in, instead of you picking up the pieces and going to them and begging them and feeding their ego, instead of you doing that, you did the opposite. You removed yourself and you moved on with your life and you flourished. You flourished. You improved yourself after what they did. And that's something that they never expected. They're shocked. When I tell you this person is being haunted by what they did to you, Libra, they're being haunted. They are experiencing 
exactly what karma is. I mean, their con- even their own conscience will not give them rest. Four of pentacles, okay? It is so bothersome to this person that you are guarding and protecting yourself. There has to be some sort of entitlement with this individual. It's like they feel entitled to steal your energy, to have your full attention, and you're not giving it to them. You distance yourself and continue to distance yourself because it looks like you're dealing with an energy vampire. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that term, but it's someone who feeds off other people's energies. Whether you give them good or bad attention, it feeds their ego. And they are so draining. They will drain the life out of you. They just take and take and take and they give nothing back. It's always all about them. You are the four of pentacles. You recognize your worth. You know who you are now. Excellent. That's the first step. That's the first step to being the best person that you can be is by knowing your worth, knowing who you are. That way you won't put up with anything less than what you deserve, right? Because you know that you're so valuable and people will want access to you, you have become very cautious of who you share your energy with, who you share your abundance with. That's why you're here as the Four of Pentacles. You're keeping to yourself. You're being stingy with yourself, which is what you really need to do. Not everyone deserves access to you, especially those who have nothing to give, especially those who just want to take. But it bothers this person so much, Libra, that you are protecting yourself from them, that you're not giving yourself to them anymore. That's what is keeping them so mentally stuck on you and exhausted because you're not feeding their ego anymore. You're not giving them your energy. Two of wands. This person, there's, there's, I'm sorry, but there is an obsession. This person really needs to figure out why it is that they're this way. They need to go to therapy, a psychologist or something, because right now I see that they're having like withdrawals. They're having withdrawals. They're literally frantic because it's like this hunger, this desperation for your attention. Like they need you, but not in a complimentary way, in a very toxic and codependent way. And so what are they doing? They're the two of wands. They've made a set decision to go towards you. As the six of cups, they want a reunion. And it's up to you to decide what you're going to do. So Libra, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope this reading helps. Um, please remember it's general. So take only what resonates and leave what does not. You're always welcome to visit my website and book a private reading with me. The link to my website is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. All right. Thank you guys so much and please take care. Be safe.